Hi guys. I wanted to do a video about Suboxone. I've been on Suboxone since 2008. Almost five years. And um, the reason I got on the Suboxone and originally was uh, I had an addiction problem to I was taking a lot of Vicodin or Narco or um, Loratab. Um, I was taking quite a bit of those and off the street I was buying them. I also had a prescription for them. And I was taking mass quantities of those and I had had previous to that I had two back surgeries. My whole lumbar um, back is fused together and um, I thought I was masking the pain with the Vicodin and it, it was just the more I took the more I thought it was going away and it wasn't and before I was on Vicodin I was on oxycodone for for about a year or maybe about a year maybe a little bit over a year which worked really well I really liked that one um, being an addict I really loved that drug um, the doctors would not prescribe that to me anymore so, so I was only able to go on after my two surgeries, I said, "Here, you're fixed. You can only get Vicodin, and that's it." So that's when my oxycodone stopped, and I got on Vicodin. And so, anyhow, that Vicodin shit wasn't working, and I don't know where I heard a Sabac song. I don't know, but I ended up finding a place online that. They had, uh, that did it, so I went down and ended up being a psychiatrist down the street, and uh, I went in, and the, uh, he had to be clean for 24 hours to get the withdrawal starting in you, and I remember I got really messed up on the Vicodin before I went in. I took a lot of Viking in the day before and anyhow I went in and I don't even think I was starting to withdraw about by that time and anyhow he got when I was there it was he kind of started I was on two there was another guy in there I ended up meeting we became friends later and anyhow there's two of us in the in this doctor's office and he started us on two milligrams and worked us up and tried to find a tolerance for us and we felt like we were getting drunk the two of us we were having a good time we ended up uh, both being truck drivers and we ended up knowing a lot of the same people and we both had the same back surgeries and stuff like that it was I don't know. It was kind of strange how the, the process of getting on there was cool. I, we were having a good time. Well, the whole process was pretty neat. I, I thought uh, it was kind of cool. But by the time I got home, I felt like I was in withdrawal. Because I think, I don't know, either I, I took too many Suboxone or... The withdrawals picked in, kicked in at the time. I don't know. I was feeling great at the office. I got home. I, I, I was feeling like crap. And um, so, I, and then I don't re really remember what happened for the few days in between there. 
But on the third day, I recorded a, a video on here. It's called um, Suboxone Third Day or something. Anyhow, what had happened while I was getting the Suboxone prescribed to me and switching over to the Suboxone, the doctor also, I was also prescribed Clodipin, which combined with Suboxone is really not a good thing. Um, that really messed me up. I was like, uh, that really intensified the Klonopin quite a bit with the Suboxone. And I felt druggy. I didn't feel it. I felt great, actually. I felt really good. My pain level was great for my back pain. And, um, you know, I, I, I really felt good. I felt good in the head, clean in the head. I felt things were good. And um, it just, you know, I didn't. I was on clonopin, and now I'll bring up the speed now. What the clonopin was the key ingredient in what had happened to me recently. Now, fast forward the four years of me being on clonopin and suboxone. I ended up getting hooked on the clonopin. I mean, I ended up buying Xanax on the street, which is the same thing. It's a benzo. And I started uh, getting drunk on these pills. I was bar hopping. I was stealing from stores. I was yelling at people while I was driving. I was getting out of the cars, threatening people, um, doing all sorts of stupid shit, just like as if I were drinking, pretty much. And that was due to abusing, well, taking this clonopin and Xanax, getting addicted to the Xanax, clonopin, and then abusing it with Xanax on the street. So I ended up getting caught stealing a couple times and was threatened to do some jail time. I got in real big trouble and it, more than got caught stealing, I got the car impounded, I got caught with a whole bunch of shit in the car, and all sorts of stuff happened, and I thought I was going to jail for a long time. So I got, and I heard going into jail, they don't allow you to have clonopin in there. So I heard you have to detox from that in jail, and that's not fun. And I had heard horror stories about that. So when it's getting close to me going to court and all this, I decided to check into rehab because I don't want to go through this in jail through detox of clodopin and Xanax. So I was in treatment of Christmas of 2011 and I got out probably well I did some outpatient to, into February 2012 and uh, 
and I got that was the worst detox I've ever been through in my life. That stuff was nasty. Um, don't recommend detoxing on that stuff alone. Um, so fast forwarding, okay, I detoxed from that. I went through psychosis and for about six months didn't see anybody and none of my friends nothing I stayed as a hermit for about six months until I finally felt better and I'm still on the Suboxone okay I almost quit the Suboxone and um, the Klonopin at the same time during that detox and I almost went berserk and the doctor put me back on the, um, the Suboxone during that around that Christmas time of 2011. Anyhow, so I'm back on the Suboxone and I tr this during the summer then I try to wean off of the Suboxone. Now I've got a little clearer head. I'm off of the Klonopin and the Xanax. So I'm just taking the Suboxone and I start to wean myself off of Suboxone. And my back pain was would not tolerate it. And I tried that for about three or four weeks in the summertime. I was on a very low dose and my back pain just could not handle it. And so I'm now I'm back up to a normal dosage of Suboxone. And I'm currently now on a steady dose of Suboxone and planning on being there for a long while because I don't know if there's anything else to do. My doctor seems to think it's okay to be on the Suboxone for long term. And it's, to me, being on the Suboxone long term versus being on a regular um, narcotic or opiate which I would get immune to over time and want to get addicted to and have addictive behaviors because of I would stay on the Suboxone. That's why I'm still on the Suboxone. I don't have any addictive behaviors. I also can drive a car. I also could go to work. I can function fully. My brain is working fine. And so far, I don't see any drawbacks to being on it. As far as a couple of, it does have some side effects and things like that, but for me, it outweighs my back pain. And, um, but also going back to 2008 and my first videos that I had originally made for YouTube. If you can tell the difference of me talking today versus then, you can see what 
Suboxone plus Klonopin. I was not abusing anything on the street then. That was just Klonopin, the low dosage, plus Xanax, or plus uh, Suboxone. I mean, Klonopin plus Suboxone, and uh, I was really shocked to go back and watch that those videos and how I was talking and slurring my words and not making any sense at all. Actually this video is going kind of long so <laughs> I wonder how much sense I'm making on this one myself too. So anyhow guys thanks for watching. Uh, sorry it's so long but I wanted to explain myself and thank you for watching. See you later.